My name's Pete and I'm a biomedical engineer. This is the story of Sally and the Snotbuster. Sally loves making machines to help people. She has a workshop in the garden shed where she makes machines that go fizz, ka-chink. One day, Sally's brother Ben got sick. Ben's nose was filled with snot and sometimes he struggled to breathe. Day and night, his parents had to suck out the snot. <coughs> Sally wanted to help. She wanted to make a machine to suck out the snot. A snot buster. Sally sneaked into the cupboard under the stairs and took the vacuum to the shed. She sawed off the nozzle and attached two small tubes. Let's try this. That night, she crept into Ben's bedroom and gently placed the tubes into his nose. She turned on the vacuum and the snot came out, but it sucked too hard. Ben woke up and bashed the tubes away. Their parents came racing in. That'll keep him up all night. The next morning, Sally went back to the shed with the snot buster and a toilet roll. I can't give up, she thought. She pushed the toilet roll into the nozzle so it only sucked very lightly. How about this? That night, she crept into Ben's bedroom and gently placed the tubes into his nose. She turned on the vacuum and... <coughs> the snot came out, but it was too noisy. Ben woke up and yanked the vacuum's plug out. Their parents came racing in. That'll keep him up all night. The next morning, Sally went back to the shed with the snotbuster and her duvet. I can't give up, she thought. She wrapped the duvet around the snotbuster to make sure it was very quiet. That'll sort it. That night, she crept into Ben's bedroom and gently placed the tubes into his nose. She turned on the vacuum and <coughs> the snot came out, but it tickled Ben's nose. He woke up sneezing. Ah, 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 Their parents came racing in. That'll keep him up all night. Sally was disappointed. The next morning, she went back to the shed with the snot buster and needles and wool. I can't give up, she thought. She knitted little cushions for the tubes to stop them tickling. Surely this time, that night, she crept into Ben's bedroom and gently placed the tubes into his nose. She turned on the vacuum and <coughs> the snot came out and out and out. <sighs> ben just slept. Hooray, whispered Sally. The next morning, their parents came in and looked in amazement. That'll help him out all right. Ben slept well, night after night after night. He got better and doesn't need the snot buster anymore. To this day, Sally makes machines to help people. Now 
she has a teapot in her shed. She invites people round, gives them a cup of tea and chats with them to understand exactly what they need. And when a machine doesn't work at first, she never gives up.